Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Sweat for Gunstruck Reviews. We're in here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility. And today we have a follow-up on the Silencico um, SCO15 strip lower that is no longer a strip lower. Marty put it together for us and it's a really good lower. It's billet um, from a forging and it's, it's a forged billet uh, lower that is perfectly machined with some really cool features. Um, flared magwell. It has the ambi uh, bolt release, which is pretty cool, or bolt stop, whatever you want to use it for. And we use um, Luthayar parts to complete the inside of it. And we have a Luthayar MBA-5 on it, which is pretty cool. You could put a rifle one if you wanted to. I went with carbine just for the being compact. Now, I was thinking, what would be a good combination for this lower? So I thought, wait, one of my favorite uppers and rifles is the Rock River Arms Rage. I had a 2.0 that I converted again later for a 3.0 because Rock River sells their uppers. They are really modestly priced. This is, of course, their Rage series of uh, rifles, and they sell the uppers. This is the 3G version of it, which has a longer handguard which is really cool because you're able to grab your handguard really far forward. And of course, like anything else in the AR platform, it just takes two pins to put it together. This one here, I should have done the first, the front one first, but you know. Um, I have a Bushnell CQTS red dot sight in here. I'm gonna make sure that I have enough juice in here to, yeah, it wasn't too bright. If you have a red dot that is too bright in an indoor range, it just glows and goes out of proportion. So I lowered the, uh, uh, has this sight here has an up, uh, up, arrow up, arrow down, that it shows you, you know, you can lower the intensity. It has uh, three different reticles on it. So those are pretty cool depending on what you need them for. I'm using the big uh, circle with the crosses and the dot in the middle. I have yet to sight it in. I sight this in for about 50 yards. I'm just gonna function test it today for the first time with this configuration. I just got this upper two days ago. So I am really excited to shoot it the way it is, but I will be changing uh, the flash hider for uh, muscle brake from Surefire. Uh, we'll go to Marty's uh, here pretty soon, maybe next week, and I'll have Marty put it up for me. So let's go ahead and Shoot some 55 grain, full metal jacket, and see how he shoots. I like the way it shoots. It, it will shoot a whole lot better once I change the uh, muzzle brake on it. Um, oh, one thing if you notice, I have a Magpul um, embus backup sight in the rear. You notice I don't have one in the front. I just, so in case you left messages, why are you using the rear sight only? It's because I don't have a front sight yet. I need to order one and that's just it. I just don't have one. So I decided to put it on just to measure where my rear sight was gonna be. That's one of the things I do. I put the embus and then I put the rear sight just against it. If you notice my rear sight has a cantilever and the rear side is just not even a quarter of an inch apart from the embus. So it's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and um, continue to shoot it. Um, now I need to sight it in. I know today we were just throwing lead down range just to see how it felt, but I think it's really cool. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Please remain healthy, be safe, and have fun on the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.